Hey everybody, Radovan here. Thanks for tuning in to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, a Let's Play tutorial series. So last episode, we had a bit of a rebellion erupt in Charis, as we have armies riding down here in Azurai. A awkward two-front war. Some of the Azurai group actually looks like they just got uh, captured, so that sucks for them. Um, I also want to go over some of what's been going on in the game. We have been uh, sort of racked with ridiculous rates of vassal death, and that's something I wanted to address. Now, I'm not going to turn to mods or anything of that nature in order to deal with the vassal problem. Uh, instead, I'm just going to go ahead and try to do my very best at keeping them safe using overwhelming numbers and limiting my dead. I do hope that I'll be able to keep pushing with this series, but uh, there's a very real possibility that if I just keep losing people faster than I can replace them, uh, it might be a series that needs retiring in the near future. But I would give this, I would give this definitely uh, some sort of good closure. I wouldn't just pull the plug uh, before it's ready. That's for sure. So we have some pauldrons here, which we were handing out. Let's see if anyone else needs the old pauldrons. Yeah, Yanshui. You are not, not fit without those pauldrons. There we go. It's a little costly. I don't have a ton of money, so I'm going to be a little careful about how I spend. Now I am hoping to capture Charis back quickly, and then make my way into... Uh, really any territory to so that uh so that our companions can form a new army so we have two new ones Damien, who was previously uh dawan the madman and yanshui and these two um are going to we're gonna have to figure out who is probably best suited for party leadership but they're both uh pretty capable so the good news is because i recruited both if uh if the worst happens and one was to die, the other could take their place. It's a little dark, hiring a replacement like that, but it's just the way it is sometimes. All right, another question is, is there... There are some people I can recruit. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reform my party in just a minute. Disband. And... I will be adding in some others. Now, there was a law proposal that I struck down. As you might have noticed right in the uh, in the start, it's called Peerage. Um, I knew Peerage just from heart, but if we were to take a look at uh, uh, look at Peerage, it would be no good for me. Uh, where is it? It's down here. Uh, peerage, influence cost of the ruler overriding a popular decision outcome is doubled. Basically, it's just a lot more expensive for me to veto and uh i spent pretty much all of my influence uh to prevent peerage from taking root because no thanks volandian infantry and some of the prisoners care to join so here's charis led by charis rebels only 200 uh, defenders. Uh, they have some micro vassals out here who are probably not going to mess with me. I have called in some backup. Um, let's see if anyone else is available now. They're all in their own other armies. So we're going to set up the typical siege, taking out their siege equipment, and then going on the walls. Alright, Vashorki just joined me. And we'll be joined by others that I flagged two days and three days away. That's not too far. But uh, I do want to make sure that I have the most possible uh, troops ready so that it's, you know, not a fair fight. Nemos just died of old age. Who is Nemos again? Noble of the Western. 
Oh yeah, one of uh okay. Nemos I think was the king. The ex king. And one of his kids or something just took over. Doesn't really matter to me. They're all the same. Just another one to conquer. Abuelos just married. That's one of my vassals. Cool. So Abuelos got married to Halea. Halea is of clan. Um, I don't even know. I think you were Kuzadi, but I'm not even sure. I'm sure there's a way for me to check, but uh, honestly, it doesn't really matter. Yakus just got taken, so that was one of the Azurai uh, sit towns down there uh, that my guys were tasked to deal with, and that's cool. That's great. Uh, and there's going to be an election for who takes that, who owns that. Now, I'd like to own Charis, but uh, given my current influence, uh, we'll see if that's even possible. Uh, Baranor of Saralande just uh, besieged uh, Medeni Castle, or something, however you pronounce it. Um, so that's cool. We're taking a lot of Azurite territory, even though we did lose one army. It seems like... Um, it seems like we are making inroads, no problem. Alright, so now I've got my siege equipment against their siege equipment. It is a battle of siege equipment. Uh, and we just rolled in yet another. This was Tazanor. So the other one should be about... Yep, Vipon is just about a day away. Let's see if there's anyone else we can add. Uh, there are. Halea, who just got married, and Aranox. And I'll have them... Come join me. Trying not to kill Abuelos' uh, brand new wife. Well, unfortunately for me, we have all the siege equipment blown up. But uh, I don't even have my own towers built. Okay, aim for the tra uh, catapult. And then the other thing I probably want to do before I actually raid is... You know. The typical gear swap. Do I even have a sh Yeah, I do have a shield for myself. <laughs> I wasn't wasn't sure. So now we're going to be uh, sword and shield. Sword and board. Which should be offering me a little bit more protection. Just leveling up some troops. So that when I attack, I have the best possible. And once this catapult's down... This here is uh, Vipon. Once this catapult's down, we'll be... Uh, pushing to besiege right now. Now, I gotta be careful about um, Vassal Death. There's really not much I can do about that, though. Especially, especially uh, when I am doing a castle siege like this, because it's not like any of the unit groups are assignable, right? Um, in regular battles, I can put, like, for instance, my own companions on a separate battle group and keep them safer. But during these castle sieges, there is no such luck. There is no me me mechanism. If I look at my battle groups here, they're just one big blob of different troops and and there's no clear designation about who they are, how to keep them safe. So they don't have any she uh, siege equipment, so this should be uh, a little easier. I don't even see very... There aren't so many troops up here, either. The queen scouts the wall. Her eyes dart between defensive structures, looking for defiant militia. Ready to receive a bolt or a arrow from her quiver. Yep, that's me. Slayer of towns, crusher of castles. More like terrorizer of towns. Let's go with the alliteration. Crusher of castles. Victor of the village. I don't know. 
All I know. I've gotten pretty good at these castle sieges. You know, falling off and breaking my ankles. Appropriately. So I do see that they have some spearmen uh, sitting on the walls ready for the siege tower. And boy are these, uh, this is a long run. Look at how far this tower is still. And the other tower looks similarly slow or distant. This is a uh, geography of a, a castle that I've not sieged before, I don't think. I've never had this kind of long run. And they basically have no one on the walls, and you could tell because my own sharpshooters and crossbow have nothing to shoot at. I don't even see anyone waiting on this wall for us. It's like almost insulting that they've deployed so few. To quote Borderlands, catch a ride! <laughs> sure, I won't, uh, that looks really cool. It's like the me and my homies picture. Me with my new set of wheels. All of them backing me up. We well, can hear the knocking of the uh, the gate. Yeah, this castle was never meant to be held by rebels. I think, if possible, I'm going to keep this one for myself. Because I'm Valandian and I'm hopefully a decent governor. Uh. Whoa! Oh, okay. That was on me. I guess I will be ground support. Because that was, um... Well, that was typical and embarrassing. Whatever these guys are doing, I don't know. Oops, I just shot my own. But, uh, yeah, my ankles feel terrific. Yeah, my veteran troops are making very quick work of all the people they put up on that, uh... At, at the wall here. It doesn't need to be single file, guys. As polite as you are, you can go three at a time. Yeah, they're half dead already. Look at them. They saw me just whip a, a bolt or an arrow at, uh... One of their uh, friends, and they're just like, oh, bye bye. I am out. I'll shoot you in the butt as you run. The day is lost. Well, that's it. I think they're all fleeing. A very cool uh, castle layout, though. Certainly different than uh, most of the other ones. We've had uh, two people in my entire employee die here. Whoa, I cannot shoot now. There we go. Is there anyone in there? You say no. Okay. Two people died. I gained a little bit of influence, which is good because I spent uh, 2,800 of it. A whole bunch of troops here that we've rescued and a bunch of uh, militia uh, infantry that I can recruit and give to vassals. Uh, so the troops I rescued, a lot of them were not uh, Azurai. Owner of Yakis, uh, I will happily give it to Belathor. Belathor, what do you own? Three? Okay, well, you're going to own four now. Congrats. Congrats. Despite my council's... No, it wasn't despite anyone's approval. That was the majority... That was the popular decision there. So, um, let's go to the party screen real quick. And... Level up some of the guys that got some kills. Done. Alright, the next thing I want to do... Uh, party screen again. Or no, not this screen. Uh, clan screen. Oh, yeah. All right. Trustin has a huge lack of troops. In fact, um, a massive lack. What happened? I don't even know. 
But, uh, alright, here you go. There is a lot of non-Volandians that I just picked up. And they are all yours. I think that's the last- oh, Militia Archers are not really typical Volandian troops. I'm keeping just typical Volandian troops, so just to note, uh, Volandian militia, these three types, are not um, normal troops. They are garrison troops, and I'm not going to have them in my army just because they're impossible for me to reliably re-recruit, right? They only really exist in garrison form, so uh, let's go ahead and trade. We did get, uh, some garbage, mostly garbage. Almost entirely garbage. We have plenty of food. That is not much of an issue. Alright, the other thing is, okay, we do have a hundred defenders sitting in this garrison. That might be sufficient. I just uh, re-entered the town so that uh, my own people could recruit. See, as you can see, Vashorki, Damien, Trustin, grabbing some of those. Okay, more Azurai just got captured. Um, whoa! There is a new ruler of Azurai? What just went on? Ruler of Azurai, is Unquid dead? Yeah. Died of old age. Spring 20, 11, 1104. Oh yeah, so Unquid just died of old age in the middle of this war and one of his kids just took over. Good luck, kid. You're gonna need it, because I'm coming for you. So I am leaving uh, Charis with virtually no defense, uh, so it might get recaptured. I, sh I should have, you know, probably stuffed troops into it, but given that the the uh, rebels had such small armies, they might not even be able to affect a true siege. So I know I have some of the Valandian militia on me. I'm still allowed, technically, to have Valandian militia. I'm just making the choice to uh, give them to my... Uh, brother and husband um, But I'll be doing that once I have a bunch. I'm not gonna every day get one more because that's Kind of boring So I'm just uh, hopping from village to village allowing my Army mates. I don't know what to call them uh, to re Recruit or to fill up the ranks. I Think Damien is just about full now. Let's go to the clan screen here. Parties! Damien is... No, they're not even that close to full. Uh, but I'm not recruiting for myself because these are non volandian recruits that we're hitting up now. Uh, another thing that I'm sort of curious about is... Oh yeah, Charis Rebels. I have no idea how to... How to um, commit peace for the Charis Rebels. And I had no idea I was at war with Botania. Since when? Well, uh, that's going to change things for me. I'm going to turn around. Now, taking a look at the screen here, uh, there is actually universal support for uh, peace with Azurai. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for... Oh, and Kaladog just gave something away. I don't know what territory they... Oh, Balgard, I think. Actually, I don't even know if it was Balgard. But um, I'm going to wait until Belathor... Belathor's siege on that castle is done. I don't want to um, declare peace with Azurai mid-siege. If we're going to capture a castle, we might as well wait until the castle, castle is captured. And then I'm going to have the Charis ownership where I'm going to take it for myself, uh, despite the fact that Vipon wanted it, because it is a Volandian territory. And yeah, that's just how it's going to go sometimes. So, if I take a look, uh, Jacqueline here? 
I can gift out to someone. Actually, I'm going to sit on Jacqueline and wait until I have a new vassal that has nothing to jumpstart their ownership. Let's switch back to my normal attire. And for whatever reason, that was really strange. For whatever reason, Damien and Trustin just dumped a ridiculous amount of um, their own troops into the garrison. I don't know why that would be. But I am going to undo what they did. Because... They're wrong? <laughs> but now this is going to take me a bit of time. Yeah, I really don't know why they would do that. But uh, this at least will allow me to fill up their armies. So Damien is now topped up completely. And Trustin will be next. Just stealing from a garrison, right? I'll keep the billman. Uh, that leaves me with 286. That's a lot, but I'm okay with that. Okay, well, don't be doing that, guys. Don't donate to whoever owns Orticia. Oh, it's mm, I do. Wait, really? I didn't. What? A... Oh, yeah, 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 right, right, right. Okay. I wasn't going to gift out Jacqueline. I want to gift out um uh Orticia at some point. So that that's okay, that makes sense. My my siblings, well, my sibling and my husband decided to donate troops to Orticia because um I own it and they want it protected. And that's also why I was able to pull all the troops out. Just... So taking a look at that siege. Jemiah Castle for Pelothor. And are you going against Raza? No, Tamna. Tamna Castle. Oh, and it's Tamna Rebels now. Cool. I'm also going to need to add some cohesion with my very low and very, very precious influence, uh, which signals to me that I need to beeline it towards Batanian territory so that I can start to crack Batanian heads and gain some more influence. Because if I sit on my laurels, I'm gonna run out of influence and uh, not be able to keep this army together. Come on, besiege quicker. I'm totally okay with an extended war with uh, Azrai as long as I have the AI armies doing a lot of the work and heavy lifting for me, which they seem to be doing. So now that uh, Damien is full, you should not see Damien... Okay, good. They did fix that bug. There was previously a bug where even when an army was full, they would keep recruiting. And then what that would ha what would happen would be their low-level recruits that they add to their army um, would disband high-level recruits that you would not want to be disbanded. Talon gained a level. I will deal with that in just a second. Well done, Talon. I don't know what you did to gain a level, but uh, I'm down. So let's go through these one at a time. Talon has a level. Talon, you're getting pretty good at everything I tell you to do. I'm going to give you the ability to gain more athletics, I guess. Let's go back to that character screen and see if there's anyone else. Oh, uh, yep, there was. M, you too. Uh, I think you're at your riding max. You have more wiggle, well, you're pretty good with a bow already. So you're at your riding max, we'll give you a, uh, a little bit more riding skill. Oh boy, uh, that Tamna Castle is taken. Whew, good job. All right, it's time for peace because it does not look like Jamea Castle or whatever it's called uh, ended up um, ended up uh, in our hands. So I'm going to propose peace. 
Which means I used up the very, very last of my influence, basically. Um, acknowledging that. But it was worth it, because I don't want a two-front war. So if you take a look now, it's just me... Southern Empire is basically a non-issue. Versus Batania. And all of those armies down south... Uh, you're riding to Golurin. Oh, because Varon and... Okay, so some of our things are getting besieged. Um, Penkanak is ridiculously guarded. Has a lot of people there. Let me see see about Dunglanis. Nope, both are really, really, really well fortified. Uh, well, Mechalovia Mekalov Castle is under siege, so I'm going to uh, jaunt that way. Oh, no, I'm going to chase Ilias' army. They are besieging Taurus. Why would you go all the way down to Charis? That seems strange. It's like there's tons of targets between... It's probably just the least defended, and they have their, like... The AI use, like, perfect X-ray vision to figure out what is lightly defended. That'd be my guess. You know, that uh, the AI analyzed the battlefield uh, very differently than I could, because I don't have perfect information over the map. But they get it. Well, I'm gonna definitely... Oh, and traveling to Dunglenis. Hello. You've put yourself into a corner. Hi, Elias. Surrender or die. So, first battle of the episode. Let's hope it goes well. Spot me, everyone! Keep going! I'm gonna have them all follow me. Archers! I'm gonna put my archers into loose formation. Loose formation! They've got 10 cavalry on the field, a whole lot of spearmen, so I'm not gonna want to send my. Uh, horses riding up into that. Arrows! Get the soldiers! Move! Cavalry! Onwards! Let's form a skein. Together! Form a skein! Or skein, whatever they want to call it. Horsemen! My own Infantry! companions. Gonna take a step back. Wow, I'm already firing at this distance. Riders, forward! All right, so I have my cavalry forward! laid out so that they can counter charge if the need arises. Riders, mounted on footmen. Had them advance up, which is not something I tend tend to do. My companions fall back. Richard the Stag just killed one. We're actually doing good work here. I just don't want to... Oh, Yanshui got one. They are getting pelted. Far Sorry, Svana. Yeah, down. Uh, look at all them getting all mad. What about uh, what I just did? Oh, Potanian Scout. Yep, keep following me. Right across all of the... I think that's Ilias himself. He looks Azurai. There he is. They're all trying to lance me. It's funny, because I'm not in danger. Bad timing, my friend. Bad timing. 
You should look where you're riding. Two for one. As I scream, die, you pig. I am deep in their territory, but it doesn't matter. Alright, they hit me once, so give them hell. Here's their new wave of cavalry. Oh, I swung a little early. I, they had all their lances out. I wanted to be safe than sorry, you know? Bye-bye, Sturgeon Brigand. And you. Knocked him off his horse. He's not dead, but he's... He will be. I've sent everybody in. For better or for worse. 27? Why so little? Oh, I got that horse in a backswing. That's embarrassing. Right over your head. Oh, never mind. Not over your head anymore. You don't have one. I think my troops are just screaming at one another to rile themselves up. I quite honestly did not see enemies in that um, conversation. They are getting just ridiculously crushed. Were you riding against me? Don't do that. Gotta say, this has been one heck of a fun fight because of the complete lack of tactics these Batanians have been having, using, whatever you want to call it. I'm just able to uh, completely run house, decimate. Hey you, you look like an equite. Get over here. Or maybe you're a cataphract. You're a cataphract. You're a dead one. Hello. Bye-bye. Such a target-rich environment, I'm having trouble deciding who I chase. They're down to nearly single-digit troops. Yep, they're in the almost in the single digits now. And we've only lost uh, 18 total troops. So if we got a dead vassal in in one out of thir or 18 out of 1300, I don't even know what to say to that. I think that's it. Yep. Got precious influence. I also stomped a siege that was marching towards Charis. Uh, Adwer, you have Drummamore Castle, whatever that is. Uh, sure, you are free to go because I might try to recruit you. In fact, in fact, I should have probably tagged your name. Who are you, Aaron? All right, you too. I'm going to tag your clan as a clan to recruit. You are also free to go. Ukai, uh, I don't think you're going to be so lucky. You're not free to go. Svana? Um, Kranaraka. Oh, you know what? Lek? That would be another good one. Oh, not Lek, but the Varvo... Whatever that is. Uh, you're free to go. Ilias, I wanted to recruit you. You have off castle uh, you are also free to go. So, it looks like a lot of these Batanian, uh, lords have, um, very, very, very few territories, and it would be very easy for me to tip the skills a little bit, you know, put my thumb on it, and, um, and cause, uh, you know, Batani to lose a lot of vassals if I captured a few key castles, because a lot of them are solo fief-holding, uh, people, recruits. So now I'm just going through and I'm just going to grab all of the, this will take me a minute, but uh, all the highest levels and then the next highest, so on and so forth. Most of these guys, I'm just going to ransom for money. But given my money is actually a little short right now because of all of my recent outfittings of my vassals, which one could argue is a terrible idea given their death rate, um, I am poor. I am poorer than I've been in a long time. So now we're only down to tier threes. Almost done.
No, one more. Done. Uh, the armor here, this legionary mail, is, uh, well, it's not terrible. It's gonna sell for something. Okay, I'm gonna head up to Maranath and prepare for some sort of battle up there. Uh, it looks like some character leveled up, though. Oh, right, we had a ton of level up. Uh, Yanshui leveled, giving you more bow for sure. M leveled, horse, nomadic traditions for sure. Val the Vulture leveled twice, or leveled where we got a free focus point and a uh, attribute point. So uh, uh, both of them are going to be used to help the bow. And then Talon leveled up archery. Uh, bow reload speed, yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. Tomna Castle, go to Tynops, that's fine. It's not like I have the influence to override it anyway. I think he was the one to take it to, to capture it in the first place, so. To the victor goes the spoils. Carfid is rolling into an army here. So I should keep track of where Carfid goes because a new army is going to form. Uh, one in which I'll be able to destroy. Just destroy. <laughs> no word less than that. Okay. I need money, so let's sell those spoils. And that's a good 34,000. My money is actually bouncing back. And then let's go ahead and uh, Tavern District ransom off some of the prisoners. Or rather, the mass majority of them making room for additional prisoners. Ukai, you're going into a, uh, you know, a holding cell though. So then, go to the keep, go to the dungeon, donate a prisoner, Ukai. So I don't want him escaping. And De Cortain liked that, so that's good. Another thing I need to do is do, oh, yes. The question was, would I have people that were ready to level up? And the answer is yes. So I do have a few militia people in here. Another thing I needed to do, and I didn't do this yet, is, um, Yanshui and Dayman, you need to be in the right heavy infantry group so I can uh, keep you better protected. I really, really, really don't want to lose anyone. I mean, I never did want to lose anyone, but like, you know, keeping them in their own group will help. All right. So, Carfid, and it looks like um, Sanyan is rolling into the same army. They have initiated some sort of, um, oh, yeah, there's Carfid's army. Hello. Word of advice, don't farm an army right next to a massive enemy army. It's just not going to be good for you. I am going to let Damien and Trustin chase him down so that we can engage because my army is a little too slow. Shoot! Stay close! We have got a nighttime fight here. This doesn't seem to have terrain advantage. Well, actually, there's this giant mountain thing right in front of me. But I want to, I don't want to go. Uh, maybe I can take it, actually. Doesn't look like they're moving to it. So let's see if this helps me. 
Oh, I think it does. Just, it's awkward to hold. They are pushing against me in this little aspen tree forest. It's going to be really tough to actually get good hits on cavalry. It's also going to be really challenging for their cavalry to do anything because of how tree filled this place is. We've got my archers just absolutely pelting the heck out of them. Footmen! And my footmen. Ow. One of them shot me. Oh yeah, they have more over here. I'm just gonna hold my ground where they where I am here. Because there's no no need for me to counter. You yellow yellow bellied Britannians. This is not even a fight, it's a slaying. Ouch. Except for, you know, the couched lance that got me. Nope. I'm gonna get my vengeance. Yep. There we are. Oh, yep, tree. Watch out for that tree. That was a Valandian knight, too. How dis disrespectful. I'm the one true Valandian queen. And he rides against me. Oh. Bummer, dude. Oh, he blocked it. I like how this little recruit or watchman is like, I'm gonna get you. It's like, it's a horse, dude. You're not gonna catch him. Maybe you will. Uh, no, you didn't. I did, though. All right, they are just collapsing. Not too many of them left. Yeah, it is. You speak truth for an injured man. And that's it, as far as I can tell. Three dead on my side, 176 on theirs. Four wounded to 129. It was not much of a fight. It was uh, it was a slaughter, as I said. Damien's happy I showed up. Sanion, are you? No, you are going in the clink. Enjoy. Uh, we have a few troops, and then I actually could take every prisoner. That's cool. They have some war horses that I got from there, but I'm not going to sell them because they're worth it to me to keep. And that is yet another army crushed. And that brings me, uh, well, before I forget, for next episode, I was going to say that brings me to my stopping point, but I want Damien and Trustin to roll back into my army. There we are. Well, uh, so let's analyze quickly before I end. We did get Tomna Castle. Uh, we did get Ayakis. Uh, we did good work down here. I didn't even lift a finger down here. We captured two Azerai territories, lost nothing, no one died, and I did not partake in that fight whatsoever. We did crush the Charis Rebellion in completely, um, and now I own Charis, and now we are deep within Batanian territory because I'm actually not even sure who declared, well, they must have declared war on me, because if I declared war on them, I think I would have been uh, appraised of that. Uh... So if you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below.
Thank you all so very much for watching. I'll catch you next episode. Farewell, everybody.